everybody, welcome to a semi-short series on some tutorials in Call of War. We're going to have about six episodes in here, three on PC, and then three on mobile. So this particular one's going to be about map and unit control on the PC version. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of the stuff you're going to see on your PC is going to be very similar to that of the mobile app, but there are still enough differences to where it is worth doing a completely different video. But anyway, uh, let's start out with, with some basic unit movement. Uh, move around the map pretty simple. Just do this, have a seizure, then here you go. You're welcome. Uh, to move a unit, it's very simple. I want to move the second light tank division. Hit move, take it to wherever I want. I want to move it to Ancona, wherever that is in Italy, I presume. So it is now on the way there, pretty simple. If I wanted to attack someone, uh, let's say I wanted to attack Greece, I don't know how that went. Uh, we'll get to splitting later. Um, we can just go there. Actually, that's actually not a very good example for this. Um, let's attack France. So we just hit the attack button here, and then for an attack order, you can only hit cities or particular units. So, this little dot here represents a city. It will now be in the way. If you haven't declared war, it'll give you a little warning. Da 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 da. There you go. And I'm going to turn it around before I get myself in trouble. Uh, for artillery, it is a little. The attack order is a little bit different. It is the same for ships, which I will explain in a second. Oops. And also for moving, you can simply hold. So you can hold down and then move it to wherever you want. You can't do a uh, attack order with that, but still a neat little feature. Uh, yeah, uh, ne I said artillery, so let's do that. Let's say I wanted to bombard Ionema. Hit attack, and it will go behind the lines and shell. This is very good for supporting infantry or tank assaults. Yeah, it'll give you... Hit, if I would hit OK, it would actually go do it, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, ship is pretty much the same thing. If I wanted to go bombard this particular unit right here, I would just hit attack. And see, it will jump if I go into that area to that unit. I could click, and it would go and sink it. That works the same way with cities. And our land artillery can do the same thing with individual units, land or sea. As for aircraft movement, uh, you have several very similar controls. Uh, you can move it to separate separate air bases. Like if I wanted to move this across to here, I could just hit move. And if I were to click here, it would fly to this air base in Regio. For an attack order, you have to have, just like with land units, an individual city or unit to hit. So if I wanted to hit Malta, I have to click on the little circle here representing the city. If I were to click, it would go and bomb Malta. But I don't really feel like going to war with Britain right now, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, aircraft have a special feature that land and sea units do not have. It's called a patrol. So if it's waiting here in air base or flying around, I can still do this. Hit patrol, and you're going to see the circle. That is the area which it will circle and patrol. So if I want to patrol here, it will go to that location and now be able to see any units inside that area and if it, they are enemy units they will automatically attack those units now there are some other special controls we'll talk with land units real quick one of the most important ones is the split if you want to, if you have artillery and you want to split it off to go attack something while your infantry goes ahead and takes the point. You do that here. Press split. And you can do these little things here. Take it up and down like that. Or you can simply drag them like this. So let's say I wanted... Let's go back over to Albania. I wanted to bombard that city in Greece. I thought I hit stop with this, but apparently not. So I'm going to go split. Artillery. Attack. There. And then the infantry will stay behind, and if I wanted to, I could send it off 
to attack there. Normally, I'm going to send it back, though. Because we know how that went in real life. But, anywho. That is pretty much... There are a few other land control units. Commands and stuff. Uh, one being the add target. So it's moving back here. I want to, Once it gets there, I want to add another target of here. This is very useful if you are attacking going on like an armored spearhead and you want to get to a certain location going a certain way, like avoiding enemy units. Like, let's say I wanted to go to Salonika, but I didn't want to go the most direct way here. I said I wanted to go down and hit this. A better example would probably be Athens. Go down here, hit that, that, and then to Athens rather than just going there. That is, in my opinion, what the ad target is most useful for. I'll give you an example here with this infantry. So I can hit attack and it'll go over here like we've already discussed. But normally you're going to see to go to Athens, oh it's actually it's gonna go by sea. Let's say I want to take it by land. What I can do, I can attack there, hit add target, go here, then I can hit add target again and it'll go to Athens hitting all of those targets along the way. And one thing I will mention is that this is kind of ill-advisable because of morale, but I will get to that in a future video when we're actually at war and talking about economics and stuff. Anyway, there are a few other controls. Let's say I want to move this up here. But I want to delay it in doing so, I can hit delay, set my time, 19 hours, 17 minutes, it would delay itself. Another command you can do, once you have it set moving, is the force march. As it says here, increases momentum speed by 50% for a hit point penalty of 5% per hour. So this is really good if you're being chased by a much larger and stronger enemy force. But I would not advise it for just moving your troops around the battlefield in a not so precarious situation as it will damage your troops quite a bit. And the last one is of course stop. Pretty self-explanatory what that does. So that is most of the unit controls. Uh, we have one more thing we're going to talk about today, that is map control. Uh, as I mentioned before, main thing for map is just go around here. Uh, you can click on certain provinces, it'll tell you what their name is, how much money they make, and if they have any special resources, like down here in Ukraine, you're going to get some food from that province. Or down here in southern Italy, you're going to get some oil. But let's say you want to see all the province names at once. Go down here to show settings. And display province names, this little flag. Scroll in a little bit and it will show you what the names of all the provinces are. I'm gonna turn that off. Other things you can do, you can toggle some sound effects over here, toggle your music, enable low graphics mode, enable that, display your relations. There you go. Play morale. This is probably one of the more useful features, uh, as it can tell you in if morale isn't low in certain areas. Uh, like, for example, if you have a colony or something that you just took, morale there's pr probably going to be really low. This can be helpful in determining whether or not it's probably safe to withdraw from there. But there are some other ways you can tell that as well. Just by clicking here, you can see morale. If it is lower than about 30%, I would recommend keeping some troops there, just in case they decide to rebel. Uh, one final thing I'll get to is, if you want to report a bug, you can do that here. If there's also a player that's committing some sort of fraud of some kind, you can report them as well there. And I think that's about it. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.